Hey, how's it going, guys? This is Carl. Uh, I just want to thank uh, Glenn for the response for my question I put out last vlog. And the question was, uh, what are the top three things you look for in a poker room? The response was uh, bad players, players that uh, call too much. And I uh, gotta agree there. I mean, that's not necessarily room specific. I mean, good games can pop up anywhere. But uh, then he also mentioned staff. And that's another one, it's kind of a mixed bag. You know, some places have, you know, good staff or uh, like good dealers, bad dealers, good floor people, bad floor people. So, yeah, I, mean, I agree that's pretty important. You don't want dealers messing up in big pots. And if, you, if they do, they should at least be able to rectify it or, you know, fix it pretty quickly. Or have floor people make, you know, fair, fair rulings if it comes down to that. And yeah, also mentioned good comps. Um, yeah, I totally agree there. Also, you know, good food options. And uh, that's one of the main reasons I gravitated, or that's, you know, one of the main reasons why I gravitated towards the big rooms over the last few years, because they have the, you know, the best games and best comps and the cheapest rake. And uh, so f I've been trying to, you know, get into this project where I review every single book room on the strip. I haven't played in a lot of these rooms in a long time, because I've, like, like I said, I've been playing mostly in the bigger rooms. But, uh, so, my preconception, like, I think Arya has really good, um, really good staff above average overall, and, um, Venetian has some really good dealers, too, and, uh, good, um, brush, but, uh, yeah, I'll definitely, so, if anyone else wants to respond, I'd appreciate that, like, you know, some things, I have some, some matrix I'm gonna measure the rooms by, in my opinion, that you know, make make a room uh, worthy of playing, make me want to go back. So basically, the plan I already have started like getting some footage, but I'm also like messing around with editing for the first time. I'm just gonna use the program that came pre-installed on uh, Windows. Um, I forget what it's called, but um, yeah, I'm just kind of toying around with that. Like, you know, all my vlogs in the past have just been point and shoot, you know, maybe like chopping off the beginning or the ending, but nothing other than that. So I'm gonna try, you know, I've been inspired by like people like the Trooper and other YouTubers who uh, do vlogs and stuff like that. So I just wanna kinda work on my chops. It's kinda a learning experience for me, kinda new, kinda interesting. So it should be fun. Um, yeah, I've been kind of procrastinating a little bit, but I definitely want to jump into it and uh, get going with this. So, plan is I'm just going to get a few shots, you know, inside the casino, inside the poker room, and then uh, maybe go outside, get a shot of the, the exterior, and like just run down bullet points of, you know, how it measures up, how they each room stacks up in different categories. So, uh, people visiting Vegas can have informed. Uh, be informed about you know what aspects they're looking for and you know what's going to be the best fit for what they're looking for and um, so yeah that's about it for now if anyone else wants to chime in leave a response for uh, the three top three things you look for in a poker room uh, I'd uh, appreciate your input and I'll catch you guys later peace out